Today, I am going to tell you how to build your own game plan in seven steps, all right? So when I talk about game plan, it's the same thing that I did with Walgreens. Uh, check out the video here. Um, I'm going to teach you how to do the same thing with any website that you want. So you can get better at sourcing because this is one of the main things you need to learn when you actually try to learn about sourcing. So before we do, I wanted to say thank you, everybody, for subscribing because we reached 500 subscribers yesterday so i promised you guys that i would do a q a video and ask me anything video so if you have any questions that you want to ask me whether it's regarding amazon or you know myself so we can get to know each other ask your questions i have a community post um just answer ask the question in the community post or just ask them on discord because yes we have a discord server um check out the link in the description best place to learn about amazon best place to ask questions and get an answer and best place to network with other sellers and reach out to me all right so uh yes this is the last video in our advanced sourcing series so if this is the first one you stumble upon check out the whole the whole playlist start by the beginning because this video built on everything that we basically um learned on the last seven days on the last seven videos so this is the um, this is the apex this is the culmination if i may say um and yes yeah, so you will need i'm going to talk about a lot of the stuff that we talked on these other videos but i'm not going to go as deep into them as we did right because this is the point where we place everything together and we actually develop a strategy right and yeah so you're going to be able to do exactly the same thing as i did with walgreens so let's start let's dive into the computer so i wanted to share this quote uh from sun Tzu, who wrote the art of war a long time ago all right um in the early days of the empire that is china and here's the quote so he says, if you know your enemy and yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself, but not the enemy, for every victory gained, you will also suffer a defeat. If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. So, why do I think this quote is meaningful in online arbitrage? You can basically replace the word enemy with website or supplier so you need to know your website the website you source that you need to know your supplier or you will basically suffer because once you start sourcing on a website a few things can happen and it often happens when you start um it's going to happen to you so what's going to happen is either this is going to be the only website you source at and you're going to get banned from that website and you will not be able to order any more product profitably because the only website that you knew was this one right so you're going to see good sales you're going to order too much you're going to get banned the first thing that can happen second thing that's going to happen is that one day this website will not have any sales anymore for an extended period of time right and what is going to happen is going to be super painful for you because the only source that you had that you think you had because you think this will go on forever the only source of product that you thought you had is gone so now you need to figure out some stuff right and it's not gonna happen if you only have one website like it's not only going to happen if you have one. like it's gonna happen even if you have 10 websites 12 websites 13 websites you need to build a bigger book of game plan like a bigger portfolio of game plans you need to have multiple ways to source and stuff because this is what happens to, this is what happened to me at one point you know so i had 12 15 websites that i was checking every day that was pretty much finding sales and it lasted a couple of weeks when I started getting good at online arbitrage. Good. I mean, when I started do, being okay at online arbitrage, right? And at one point, just no, I was not able to find no more sales. Like, I did not find any. Like, it was really painful because, like, all the things that I scanned and stuff, it was, there was nothing anymore, right? And so you need to really build uh, because see uh, like you need to see every single website as one enemy and like one battle right and you need to build a game plan for a lot of those enemies because you don't know which one you're gonna face right you don't know which one you're gonna face next week because this week you may need to face those because those are the ones where there's promotion but sometimes you're gonna get your ass kicked because there's nothing you you won't find any product and you need to keep expanding keep finding new strategies for a lot of websites and 
there are seven steps to do it and let's dive into the first one so the first one is to figure out when do new sales come on the website so whether it is like for example we saw it worked with um we saw it worked with walgreens right we saw that you basically on walgreens you need to check the weekly ads walgreens has weekly ads they have new deals every week um you know, in some websites, it's fixed cycle, and some websites are a little, little bit more random, or like it's gradually some stuff that it's going to be hard to figure out at first. But a few things that you can do is, as I shared in the previous videos, is go to Coupon Cabin. So I'm not going to be able to share Coupon Cabin with you guys because I'm banned from the website on my home IP. I have no idea why I cannot go to Coupon Cabin. They just don't let me do it. Uh, so I need to go on my phone and stuff, but just scroll down when you want coupon cabin scroll down and they're gonna share a lot of stuff about when sales come on the website at the bottom of the page. Uh, there's a lot of questions. Um, yeah, so just figure out when sales come, um, try to figure out what type of sales is it by by an early do, it, do they have any big sales at one point of the year and stuff and when it comes to Walgreens, another stuff that you, that you want to do is that Walgreens have, you need to figure out like basically coupons and stuff, right? Walgreens has a lot of coupons, all right? Uh, by a lot of coupons, I mean, they change their coupons all the time. Sometimes they have 20% site-wide. Sometimes they have like 20%, but just on health and wellness. Uh, sometimes it's just 15% site-wide. And you need to pretty much know that stuff and figure out that stuff. And of course, like, your game plan is not going to be perfect like on day one so if you start building your game plan today for a specific website you're not going to know everything about that website right it makes sense but you need to keep add on it every day every week every time just add an entry on your game plan you can use notion to do that i just started using notion it's super good um if you don't know it like just check notion on google it's a great way to take notes and to keep them organized it's super good if you want to keep your game plans right and so for example the things about coupons and stuff i did not share that on my original video on game plans right because i was not that well versed with the coupons on walgreens and stuff right but now i know for example that they often have 20 percent site wide it's not all the time though right and you can get 25 percent if you if you use a catch-all and um create new accounts but at one point you're you're if, if it's a website you order from often you're gonna get your order canceled. You're gonna get your address like banned and stuff. And so I'd rather you just use the twenty percent, even if I cut some of my profit, because it's way easier, right? And you need to pretty much know because, for example, like this week I found a lot of products that are okay, where that are super profitable when it's twenty percent, but like it's a little bit, it's not enough for me to jump into those listings when the coupon is only fifteen percent right and so i know that for example i'm waiting for world greens to 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 release the 20 percent coupons to place a lot of my order right and this is the type of stuff that you're gonna learn down the road that you may not notice that you may not notice when just you know um uh just doing some research so with coupon cabin with um just by looking at your email because yes just subscribe to every online retailers that you know, whether it's email or, you know, text message. Um, and yeah, just check all the message and try to draw patterns, like log all the message and like the promotion that is associated in a spreadsheet and try to see if there's like um, trends, if, they, if things come periodically and you will be pretty much able to figure that out. But yeah, you're gonna pick up stuff when you like, you're not gonna pick up everything at the, on the first day. You will need to keep improving your game plan and keep re like, working on it by placing orders, seeing how the products behave and stuff, and you, you're gonna find new stuff, right? So, as I said, so a good example of a website that does not have, and I don't really know the, the, the how to call that, the sales cycle for Sephora, but um, yeah, same thing, there's no weekly ads, so what you would do is go to Coupon Cabin, pretty much check the sales, and on Coupon Cabin, oftentimes, if you scroll down, it's going to tell you when the new sales come. So, for example, if it's every day at 6 a.m., you can scan the sales every day um, and just add that to your game plan. If the new sales come weekly at on Wednesday, just add that to your calendar and do that, scan Sephora every day at 6, uh, like every Wednesday, right? Every week. So, the next thing you need, you need to do is figure out 
um, what gift cards are available and what is a good gift card percentage, all right, to add on like for that specific website, right? So as I shared, a good place to do this is on Coupon Cabin. Um, I'm sorry, Gift Card Wiki. I used Walgreens because um, like I do not play, I do not order gift cards from Walgreens because they're there's physical gift card and then you need to order them, receive them to be able to use them. I don't really like that. I like a gift card, but I may start using physical gift card in a few, but and I should actually, but the reason the, the reason you want to do this is because you need to put this, you need to put the sales cycle. You need to understand the sales cycle and then what is a great gift card on for that specific website, right? I need to put those two together. Why? Because you need to like the best gift card for a website will not be available when there's a great sale because people find the sale, people buy the gift card to place their orders, right? So what you want to do is stack up on gift card in advance, as I, as I shared in the previous video, right? You need to stack up on gift card in advance and you will be able to do this by like the best gift card are going to be available when there's no promotion going on on the website, when there's no sale on the website because nobody buys them. Right. And your competitive edge will be to buy those gift cards in advance, sit on those gift cards so that when a sales come, you're going to have the cheaper price, right? You're not just going to buy any gift cards randomly, right? Because if you know the sales cycle, let's say, you know, okay, a promotion is going to come next week. Let me buy some gift cards this week because they are like, they have twice the discount as usual. So for example, maybe on Walgreens, let's check. We can see now the average discount is 11%, then it went down to 9%, so it's not a good example. But what you will see often is that the, um, the average discount is 5%, and then when there's no promotion, the average discount goes up to 10%, for example. And so this is a great time to actually buy those gift cards and sit on them. So always make sure um, that the warranty is you know good enough. So for example, on EJ gift cards, it's only 24, so these are not good to buy in advance, but on raise, I think it's one year. Don't quote me on this. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Keep the warranty in mind um, regarding the, you know, it, it depends on the marketplace, right? So keep that in mind. Um, then the next thing you need to do, and we don't need to be on a computer anymore. The next thing that you need to do is going to be to understand all, um, how do products, how do leads that you find on a specific website when there's X sale, X or Y sales, because all the sales are not going to um, affect the leads the same way. But like whenever there's a sale on a website, oftentimes the, the price, like the, the price of a lead, the price of a product on Amazon is going to be affected. For example, whenever there's a sale on, on Ulta.com that lasts for a long time, 95% of the time, the price of the product is going to crash. The product is going to crash on Walgreens, um, on, on Walgreens, on Amazon, the buy box price is going to crash. But they have some sales on Ulta, and I'm not going to give you all the game for Ulta yet, right? Maybe I'll make a video in the future, but the, they have some sales on Ulta.com where the price actually does not crash, and it depends on which sales. But like if it's a typical sales that lasts a long time, the price is going to crash. Right, so you need to know that you need to figure out. So you, you will need to log every type of sale because it's always the same type of sales that come, guys. It's always the same one, right? It doesn't matter the website; it's always going to be the same. So you need to log every type of sales that they have and all the prices affected on Amazon for each type of sales, right? Next, what sourcing method are you going to use? You're going to write that on your on your on your on your game plan and because you're going to use multiple ones, right, for every single website. Some, some stuff you will need to manual source, some stuff run it through tactical arbitrage, but you know sometimes there's bundle and stuff, and just set it on your game plan, write which, which meters you're going to do, when, on what exactly, and um, move to the next step. The next step is to start reverse sourcing the, lead, um, the, the storefront that you find on, on the... On, on, on the listings, I'm sorry, start reverse sourcing the storefront you find on the listings that you, you, you found with that website, with, with, with that strategy, because doing this will help you expand your product selection on that specific website, right? So if you expand your product selection, you're gonna be able to place bigger order. If you place bigger order, you need to work less. Simple as that, 
you need to work less. If you can place one order for $1,000, if that website allows it without banning you, you need to learn that stuff and also take notes of that on your game plan. But if you can do that, why would you, like, why would you, like, work more that day? You know, if you can place, like, if you can spend your whole budget on one, one website, why not do it? So one good way to scale is to place bigger order. That's it. Expand your selection and be like you'll be able to place bigger order. Um, next thing you need to do is keep a sheet of replenishable for that specific website. For example, if it's Walgreens.com, if you have because I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna say it like this. Yesterday I spent probably probably close to thirteen fifteen hundreds, like thirteen fifteen hundred dollars of inventory. Something close to that. I don't know exa the exact number, but like, I'd say 80% of that is leads that, let me think. Yeah, probably 80, 85% of that is leads that I actually found, that I actually did not find on that specific day. It's product that I keep buying again and again, right? Um, so for one of them, it's product that I found the previous day. And so I'm not placing my, like, I'm not placing the order for my whole inventory on the same day, you know, so I split my, basically I split my, my, my purchase. So I placed a purchase yesterday. I placed a purchase the day before, and I'm going to place a purchase today, right? For the same product. But a lot of the products that I actually bought yesterday are products that I found like months ago, even weeks ago. Like I think the, 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 the most recent one is a product that I found three weeks ago except like the one um, that I, I was telling you about, right? That I purchased, like that I found the day before, right? But like 80% of the product that I bought yesterday is product that I found a while ago, right? So keep a list of the products that you purchase and be, be organized. And this is something that I need to work on myself, to be more organized, to know which order I'm going to place today and to have a lot because sometimes I forgot. So have a sheet like of the things that you want to target, the, the things that you want to buy. And it's going to make it way easier for you. You're going to place the same orders again and again, and you're going to be able to spend your budget. And then you're not going to be as stressed, right? So this is the last thing. That, it's not really related to your game plan, but like it basically works with it. And you're going to be able to be way less stressed, place more orders and make more money, right? And the last thing, the last step on your game plan is to basically schedule all the tasks that you need to accomplish to put that game plan in, put that game plan in use, right? So for example, you're gonna need to check walgreens.com every Sunday. So you do not need to do that if you watch actually my video because I do that for you. My VA does that for you and I send it to you. Right, so check the Walgreens video. You'll understand what I mean. But for example, if your website that is every Sunday, you know that you need to schedule Every Sunday, you need to schedule it for, for you to check Walgreens.com or for your VA to check Walgreens.com, give you the links. So you can scan them, right? Because it's, it's time consuming to, 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 to put all the links together, right? So first thing, same thing. If you need to place purchase, you need to schedule that, okay? You need to schedule that uh, every single day. If you need to scan it, you need to schedule that every single day. If you need to check the coupons, the gift cards, you need to schedule that for the days that for which you need to do that. Be organized. This is the last step to build your game plan. And maybe i'll build a i don't know if there's any website you want me to make a game plan on let me know in the comments um yeah so that is how you build a custom game plan for every single website this is what you should do if you want to get better at online arbitrage um this is the end of this video series on advanced sourcing strategies i hope you guys liked it i hope you were able to learn stuff if you were let me know in the comments um we're gonna have a live call soon since we finished that series and um yeah if just check out these other videos on the screen i'll see you tomorrow for a new video at 3 p.m new video every day at 3 p.m est every single day and uh, yeah if you have any questions for the ask me anything i already have a lot but like make sure to ask them as soon as possible because i'm gonna record a video probably tomorrow or the day after that i don't know yet so yeah thank you for watching i'll see you tomorrow